Here's the thing about sports photography. You never know what's gonna get thrown your way. Things are happening fast, you're out there in the elements. A lot of things are just out of your control. So you gotta be prepared with the right stuff. Welcome back guys, another week. We're here at Fenway Park on a cold but beautiful morning. I feel very lucky to be able to work here, especially with all the craziness in the world. Whenever I come in here, it just feels like you find a little bit of peace. Okay, but enough with the sentimental stuff. Now, obviously when you're shooting sports, your cameras are important, your lenses are important, but there's so many other things that you need to be a successful sports photographer. And if you're just starting out, it's kind of hard to know where to begin. There's so many accessories, there's so many other things you can buy. So I've got another video on my channel that goes over five cheaper things that you'll never find me without in my camera bag. So you can go ahead and watch that if you want. But today I wanted to put together what I'm calling a sports photography starter kit. And these are five items that I think you shouldn't go without if you're just starting out and trying to build your sports photography kit, plus a bonus item at the end. If you guys are watching this video, you are in luck because I've got discounts for all of these items that I'm about to show you. And those are courtesy of my friends over at Hunt's Photo and Video. Now to remind you guys, Hunt's Photo and Video is New England's leading retailer as far as photography and videography supplies. They've been supplying all of our gear at the Red Sox as long as I've been here. And they also give great, reliable, friendly service for any level of photography that you are at. So I highly suggest you check them out. And I really wanna thank them for hooking it up with some sweet discounts on all of these items that we're about to talk about. I've got links for the discounts down in the description below. So if you're interested in buying any of these items, make sure you check them out down in the description below. You know, this channel is the gift that keeps on giving. First up is your basic monopod. Now this may seem obvious, but this is something that every sports photographer should have in their kit. It's really just gonna help you stabilize your shot and help support when you're using those really big sports telephoto lenses to shoot the game action. Now they make all kinds of different varieties, all kinds of different sizes, depending on what lens you need to support or how tall or how short you are. I've got the Gitzo Series 4 carbon fiber model, which is a heavier duty option and definitely at a higher price point but there's a lot of good cheaper options that are just as reliable like this one from Suray, which comes in at $100. And they adjust at all different heights based on the expandable sections and they work great for either photo or on the run and gun style video when you just need a bit more support. And I also throw the monopod over my shoulder to carry my big lens when I've got multiple bodies on me at the same time. Definitely a must have and you've got discounts on both brands down below. beautiful sunny day right now but every sports photographer knows to always check the weather before a game that's why I recommend the rain covers from think tank now they make these in every different size and these are just great for covering your lenses and covering your cameras when you get the unexpected shower. You really never know what's gonna happen, especially here in Boston. They make all kinds of great rain covers for any different lenses you need. They make a small, a medium, or a large version, and they all come with this plastic window to view your LCD screen and your controls. They can be used with a tripod or a monopod, whatever you've got on your camera. And they've got these two cinchable sleeves on the side to put your arms through to access your camera while it's raining and also the optional eyepiece for easy viewfinder access and when it's time to pack it all up they give you this nice little carrying pouch for easy transport and storage you gotta protect your gear and i never have these too far away for any game or any sporting event that i'm shooting speaking of the elements it's not just rain that is a problem but if you're like me it's also dirt now this red Fenway clay, this red dirt down here on the field really does a number on our cameras and lenses as we go through a really long season and as we're shooting every single day. And so keeping care of our lenses and cameras and making sure that they stay clean both on the outside and the inside is super, super important in increasing the longevity of our gear. And so for that, I definitely recommend this nice little cleaning kit from Zeiss. This kit includes 10 pre-moistened little cleaning cloths for wiping off your lens or your body, a bottle of cleaning solution and a microfiber cloth to wipe it all down, a lens brush to get those specks of dirt and grime off of your lens, 
a dust blower to get into all the camera's little cracks and crevices and into the camera sensor. And it all comes with this nice little carrying case, this little pouch right here. My name is Billy Weiss. I use Zeiss to keep my lenses looking nice. And you got 15% off, it's so bad, so bad. There's so many different little pieces and parts that go with your cameras and lenses that can get lost or get mixed up when you're out there on the run shooting a sports game or shooting a sports event. So every good sports photographer should always have some sort of toolkit or multi-tool in their bag just when you need it in a pinch to fix these little things that come up. And this is a really good example from Nova Flex. This little guy is a lifesaver and it has it all. It's got five different hex keys, each at a different millimeter length a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a cross slot screwdriver, and a Torx T25. So this pretty much covers any little loose odds and ends that you would need to fix in a pinch, either on your tripod or your monopod, on the body of your camera, or on the contacts of the camera or the lens. Just a great little lifesaver piece. I've used this little guy countless times to get me out of a pinch when I'm out there on the field. I mean, look at this, life of luxury, baby, right here. This is the photo pit at Fenway Park. Now, contrary to what a lot of people think, sports photography is not a comfortable profession. It is not a glamorous or luxurious profession by any stretch of the imagination. And if you think that sports venues are thinking about the things photographers need to be comfortable and to have good working conditions and have what they need to get the shots they need, you're definitely misled. So you always have to be prepared to bring some other things on your own to make sure that you can get the shots you need, no matter what situation you find yourself in. And one of those things is a step stool of some sort. Now, depending on the situation, there's a couple different options that you can go with. The first is a basic foldable step stool, kind of just folds down nice and slim and fits into your backpack, works either to sit or stand on to get some extra height if you need to shoot over a crowd. And the other is this mini max collapsible stool. Now check this out. This is a really interesting little contraption. Basically it's a folding portable stool that accordions out to any height that you want, but then folds right back down into this little disc that you can just bring on the go anywhere. Just a really good idea to have something like this not far in your car or in your bag. You never know when you're gonna just need a little bit of extra height or something as simple as a seat. Last but not least, I'm giving you guys a six bonus item just because I like you guys. So this is the Think Tank Photo Lens Changer. This is just a nice little pouch that you can put your lens in and it's part of a modular belt system. So if you want, you can buy the whole belt and buy a few of these and use them around your waist to just carry some extra lenses or you can just use them with your regular belt that you'd be wearing every day. Basically, these are a water resistant nylon pouch designed for holding an extra lens that you may need to switch out from time to time. They make all different sizes to hold pretty much any size lens that you would need to. And it just allows for really quick, really easy access to swap out another lens when you need to do that really, really fast, which definitely is the case for sports photography. The mouth opens really wide for quick access to the gear and also closes to keep your lens safe and secure with a simple little drawstring. And they also come with this small little compartment on the bottom to hold things like batteries, memory cards, or whatever else you've got on you. I almost always have one of these on me. It's just a really great option if I need to switch lenses quickly. You never know what's gonna happen with sports photography, so it's always good to be able to have a different option for lens when you need it unexpectedly. There you have it guys, the sports photography starter kit. I think these are just a couple items that will help you out if you're starting out your career in sports photography and need to build up your accessories, need to build up your bag. So big thank you again to Hunt's Photo and Video for hooking it up with all the gear and for hooking it up with major discounts. Guys, remember there are links for discounts for all of these items that we talked about down in the description below. So if you're in the market for any of these, make sure you go check them out and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate you guys following along. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Let me know any questions, comments you have. I am all ears as always, but until then I will see you at the next one. I'm out of here because it's absolutely freezing out here.